G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here. Ah, America. Land of the free, home of the... Trump, Clinton, Cosby, school shootings, that shrimp on the Barbie bullshit, and the brave. America is Australia's closest ally, and over many years we have forged a relationship that will hopefully last a millennia. And I was very confident that that would be the case until I saw this! Before I left the United States, I was like, I'm going to America, it's basically the same over there. Honey, I'm on planet Mars. Meet Healthy Emmy. Now Healthy Emmy is an American YouTuber with 20,000 subscribers and ladies and gentlemen, she has inadvertently put the relationship with Australia and America on the line. It could be destroyed any moment, ladies and gentlemen, and let me show you right fucking now what I'm talking about. Emmy recently made this video on her YouTube channel. Weird things Australians do that Americans don't understand. This video attracted well over 300,000 views. Actually, before I do any of that, can I just state that Emmy seems like a very nice lady, okay? But it would be remiss of me not to make fun of her just because she seems like a nice lady. In fact, if I didn't make this video, I would be a sexist. And that's not what I'm about. So now that I've said that, I can be a complete prick about it. My name is Emmy and I do videos about health, fitness, veganism. Whoa, 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 whoa. You do videos about... What? Veganism. Veganism? So this video is going to be complete bullshit. Although in saying that, I do videos about veganism as well. Except mine are extremely negative, and hilarious, and wonderful, and life-changing, and extraordinary. You get the point. They're fucking great. I wonder what side she's on. So I moved to Australia and I've been in Aussie for like 10... 10 days now? Yeah, I think 10 days-ish. And let me tell you, we're not in Kansas anymore. No, we're not in Kansas anymore. Mate, we're in bloody Canberra. The, the worst fucking capital in the world. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of it, I guess. But unless you want to go and check out a man-made lake and get a season's pass to fucking Questacon, Canberra's a shithole, okay? You should try and avoid it. Go to Sydney or Melbourne or Brisbane or Perth or Adelaide or fucking bumfuck nowhere. Just don't go to Canberra. Jesus Christ, don't get me wrong. There's heaps of good motherfuckers in Canberra, but the city itself, and they'll agree with me, it's a fucking shithole. Point being, not Kansas. Fucking Australia, mate. In my very short time, I've made an entire list of all of the minuscule differences that I have found between Australia and America. Let's go through the list. Australians abbreviate everything. I live in Melbourne. It's not Melbourne, it's Melbs. Ew, please tell me that you Melburnians don't refer to Melbourne as Melbs. That's super fucking gross. And just a quick side note, I was in Melbourne on the weekend and I really, really enjoy Melbourne. It's one of my favourite cities. But can you guys just stop protesting shit? It's the only city I've been to where every fucking day is a protest. Do you people not work? Get a fucking job. Stop protesting everything that fucking happens. Listen, do what any normal person does when they've got the shits and want to whinge about it. Make a great YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. I'm going to go out for breakfast. It's not breakfast. It's brekkie. Want to go get some sushi? It's not sushi. It's sush. Fucking sush? Who the fuck calls sushi sush? What? Oh, that angers me. I don't know why. <laughs> if you go out for some delicious sushi and your mate refers to it as sush, you need to get one of those little wasabi packets and squeeze it in that prick's fucking eye. That's bullshit. Fucking sush. Ugh. Sure, we shorten everything in this country. We abbreviate absolutely everything and it's great. It keeps everyone in a positive, happy mood and we all stay on time because all we fucking say is short words and we get on with our bloody day. For example, good day is... G'day, how are you going is, here you go. Um, excuse me, I think I will pass on the lovely offering that you're currently offering to me, thank you very much, is, yeah, nah. It's just a much easier way to live your life. Sushi. Sushi is not sushi. It is, but it's not. They don't cut it up. You know how we, in America, this is what sushi looks like. This is what sushi looks like in Australia. Bullshit in fucking correct healthy Emmy, you bastard. I've seen sushi cut up 
and not cut up. They live in the same world, in the same reality, just one has had an encounter with a sharp blade. That's the only difference. And I've seen heaps of different bits of... Why am I talking about sushi? How has this made your list of everything that has happened in one of the oldest continents on earth? A country with 24 million fucking legends, right? How has sushi, sorry, sushi made your list? How desperate were you for fucking ideas for a list that sushi, fucking sushi made it to the list? This is bullshit, Emmy. How dare you? You just get the whole roll and it's like this everywhere. It's so, so crazy. Emmy. This is a direct message to you. Broaden your horizons. Find some cut up fucking sushi. Fucking me. Oh my God, the term rubbers. Ah, rubbers. Here we go. In Australia, rubbers are known as, well, erasers. Things you rub out a little lead pencil with. In other parts of the world, rubbers are known as condoms, but people in Australia don't use condoms, particularly where I'm from in Newcastle. It is the capital for STDs in Australia. Hooray, at least we won fucking something. Gas. Or petrol, as they call it. I tried to get it. Nope. It makes absolutely no sense. It literally makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it literally makes all the fucking sense in the world. Petrol is short for petroleum. You just said we abbreviate everything. Listen to your own fucking list. There was no card slot. There was no place to like enter your card to pay for it. So I went inside. I just gave her $15 in cash. I was like, can I have 15 on number two? Cause that's what you do in the US. And she's like, you have to punch it in there yourself and then you pay. And I was like, okay. So I went outside and there were numbers and it said like five, 10, 20 or something. You put your fucking nozzle in. Right, you undo the bastard, you flip the bastard open, you put the nozzle in, you fill the bludger up, and then you go and pay old mate in the bloody servo. Sorry, service station, petrol station, whatever you want to call the fucking thing, all right? It's not that bloody hard. And here's a hot tip, Emmy, now that you've fucking migrated to this great country and ruined it with your list, you can go in there, you fill the bloody thing up, you put $20.02 in, all right? And then you go in and pay with a $20 note and it rounds down to zero, so you get two cents of petrol for free. Ha ha! And you can drive that extra two centimeters that that two cents gets you. And that's how you become an Australian fucking legend. And then I realized I ended up, I didn't even buy the right type of gas. I was buying, like I was buying unleaded, but apparently you have to buy auto gas. Like there's unleaded, diesel and premium, and then there's like auto gas, which is what cars take and I was- Auto gas is gas. Like the gas, gas gas. The gas you put in a Barbie. You know that thing that all you Americans think we put shrimp on, but we definitely don't put shrimp on? No one in Australia's ever called it fucking shrimp. Pull your fucking heads in, you dirty bastards. Don't get me wrong. Great way to save money. Put auto gas in your car. Heaps cheaper than petrol, but you're also gonna fuck your car up. Short term, great way to save money. Long term, your car explodes. Terrible. Nobody uses dryers. I have a dryer. Like, okay, sure. We might put it outside a lot because it's fuck off hot in this entire country all the bloody time. But sometimes it's rainy, believe it or not. Sometimes it rains here, okay? And we've got to put our, our clothes like these, you know what clothes are, and you've got to throw them in the bloody washing machine and you've got to throw them in the dryer and then they're dry and you can hang the bastards up. America isn't the only country in the world with dryers, okay? I know you think you're special, but you're not that special. Dryers aren't a thing. You just wash everything and then you hang dry. How small was your sample size when you made this list? Did you just make this list when you fucking immigrated in the airport? You just walked in, you went, I can't see any dryers anywhere. All the sushi hasn't been cut yet. What is this place? We're not in Kansas anymore. I better make a video. Girl, you're crazy. Everything is paid for weekly. I pay my rent weekly, not monthly. I pay my gym membership weekly, not monthly. Everything is paid weekly. Rent, yeah, rent's paid weekly here. Gym membership, sure. Phone bill, no. Nah. Electricity, no. Nah. Gas, 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 like house gas, monthly. Health insurance. I know Americans don't really understand health insurance for some fucking weird reason. But, okay, that's fortnightly. Okay, oh my God, let's freak out about that. 
Who gives a fuck if it's paid weekly? It makes so much more sense to do weekly. It's so much more convenient. You, you end up paying more because four weeks is not necessarily months. Four weeks isn't a month? I guess you're technically right, but I'm not working with fucking decimals, all right? Let's not fuck around with decimals. I don't have time for fucking decimals, all right, healthy Emmy? It works itself out at the end of the year anyway. Who cares? Who cares? No one cares. If it's paid weekly or monthly, it's the same fucking thing. It's just less, but the same. Surely you get that. Ah, respect for teachers. Sure, in Australia, we have respect for some teachers, like the good ones, like PE teachers and shit. Well, I guess they're not really teachers, but anyway, you, you know what I'm saying. But in Australia, we have a very, very particular way of dealing with one type of teacher, and that is the substitute teacher. Now, here's a hot tip. If you have a substitute teacher and you don't make them cry during your lesson, then you have failed as an Australian. <laughs> Another difference is the phrase catch up. Catch up, cats up, catch up, cats up. Catch up, catch up. In Australia, if someone tells you, oh, we really should catch up, it means I hate your guts, please don't ever fucking talk to me again, cocksucker. Veggies for breakfast. This I love. I feel like an Australian, like a classic Australian breakfast is like a plate of like toast and then like avocado, tomato, mushrooms, greens, like veggies for breakfast is a thing. Hang the fuck on. Where is the bacon, Emmy? I don't want to freak out here, but I'm about to. All you've mentioned is vegetables. It appears that these videos you are making aren't just about veganism. You yourself are a vegan. Oh, it explains it though. It explains why you're freaking out about sush and you put fucking barbecue gas in your car, you big weirdo. You haven't had enough meat, love. It's okay. Go and get a steak and remake that list. I'm sure it will be perfect. Aluminum cans, can't find them anywhere. I was- Aluminium cans? Emmy. That's a fucking aluminium can. They're right here. What? Where did you write this list? Go into any servo and there's cans ever for fuck's sake. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, peace in the Middle East. Be a good motherfucker. Hashtag me dick stinks. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support this channel, you can do so. There's a brand new way to do it. If you go down on this page, there is a big button that says join. And if you click that button, you become a member to my channel. Now, if you do do that, if you do do that, if you do do that, then this is what happens to you. You send me an email with your email address and you become a part of my private Facebook group. Because guess what? I'm allowed back on Facebook for some fucking weird reason. Don't know if I can post on my actual page, my Isaac Butterfield page, I can post on my personal one, which means I can message my friends again and reply to their messages because I haven't replied to any of their messages for about two, almost two months now. So I think I don't have any friends anymore. That's very sad. But anyway, if you choose to do that, I appreciate it. If you don't, all this is free anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've already said peace to the Middle East. Uh, what haven't I said? Uh,